All right. Now, so this one, uh, dude, you see the title. That thing is long as hell. All right. Uh, we're going to watch a couple of videos here. You feel me? And we're going to go back and forth and we're going to have a good little time. You know where I stand. Uh, LeBron's my hero. LeBron is my goat. And I do understand Michael's respect and, and, and need thereof, right? But uh, I think it's just different times, man. Let's see what Gilbert Arenas has to say, right? Because fuck us. Fuck us. Sitting on the couch, not doing sh Yeah, yeah, fuck us. All right, anyway, run it. This, this has been for 40 years. And when <laughs> LeBron James beats it, we just pretend that it's like... No. That it wasn't standing for 40 years. Yeah, and exactly. Didn't say no one was going to ever do it, and someone exactly. did. And you're not going to give him the flowers that It's longevity. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to pretend that, oh, uh, you know, mm, they, they, mm, they, mm. they should have won the game. That game. With, the, the, as soon as it said 36, like I called you, I said 36 points? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he ain't going, uh, Thursday, uh, I lied to myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I lied to myself. As soon as he pulled up in the suit, it was like, he only need 36. But these are the other factors that I didn't account for. Because mm. I'm like, oh, Thursday's a national game, TNT game. Tuesday was too. Kareem's old team, they had a little petty beef. I thought, all right, he was going to stick it to Kareem and do it against his former team. But I forgot the Grammys were Sunday. So all these dudes were going to stay till Tuesday to go see Bron, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. everybody. They were not staying till Thursday. Because yeah. now we're in Super Bowl week. I have bags to get out in, in Phoenix. So, But but it was it was 36 points. Exactly. Right? For a guy who's averaging 30. Right? So there was no going into that game without a doubt that he was going to get it. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Um, the winning versus the losing, that's not even a factor. Like, let that, let that argument go. No one, get, I, like, AD can be mad. I mean, who gives a right? But do you I'm, think AD said he was mad about the team losing? How did you mm. feel when you saw it? Did you not care? Didn't care. What? what? Like he couldn't game a little fist pump? I mean, he didn't stand. I mean, they're best friends. I don't, like. Right. What do you want? The, the, what do you want? The, the, that's irrelevant. The one. Per, that, Kareem, I'm pretty sure that. Still pissed off. He didn't look like he cracked a smile. Like shit, you can see it in his face. Like every bucket he made, it was. You know, I mean, he was like, sorry. I'm sure he just wanted but, to be at but, the crib but doing saying, what he was doing. It but it doesn't matter. This this is not about them. It's about the man. And this is this is going to be. Okay. Remember, I'm a Jordan fan. You got the Jordan shit down there. Got my Jordan. You got the Jordans on the, the pictures I took back in the day. The Jordans right here. We weren't. Hey, we were not supposed to acknowledge that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Adidas bag. Adidas. <laughs> no, no, no. Very no, good a, brand. No, very no, good no. quality <laughs> shoes. AJ Zero. The new, the new one's gonna have all the Adidas. Stuff, but Jordan's got the Adidas stuff on. Okay. She, okay. Um. They, yeah. They both got Adidas. They got both yeah, Adidas. Take your bag. This is a long time ago. Um, the ski mask though is the best yeah, part. Yeah, yeah. Ski mask mm -hmm. is so, the best so part. So, we, we know. I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Michael Jordan fan. Mm hmm. But I'm not going to be, I'm not going to do the stronghold. Michael Jordan is still the best player. Ever. That was my next question for right? you. Right. I'm not going to be that, that dinosaurish. Here's why. I ain't going to pause or go I back. I was in the league when we in this together. James name came. Right? Yeah. When he came, when he came out of the, they said, out of and high school. All you media got to really understand is, this is what you guys did. They always do this to black people, right? <laughs> You're going to be the next, oh, right? Yeah, they want to your career up. You know what I mean? They don't. I they feel like they do that to like, everybody. You know, can I be the first, like, you know, this person? Then I get to that level. Then, you know, it's always, you know, they always throw a great tag on you, right? So they throw. Is that a good or a bad thing? This is the next Jordan, right? right. MJ, he's here. MJ. Also, they threw an extra one. They mounted that shit on the next magic. Y'all hibernated this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a ligra. You made this, ligra. You made this man be a ligra up here, right? Magic. That's funny as hell. MJ, 
Ligers. That's a crazy combination. Right, is it, right? You, you put it. Ligers and tie guys and all yeah, that Yeah, you shit. put it. You put this. this uh, you, you're basically created an individual that was supposed to be a unicorn, right? By these two. Number, the best point guard ever. Thank you. The best player ever. Until LeBron. Yeah. Right? And the, and then he gets here, and then you want to pretend, you're going to pretend that he's not better than just the one player you said. He caught both players, then he caught an ex who's leading everybody in scoring. He surpassed him. And then you want to get to, well, he played on different teams. He got the load, man. He played twin. Then you want to throw all this extra shit in. No, fuck all that. Fuck all Bro, that. that's what I'm saying. What does he have to do to say he's I'm the best? I'm chill out. If you say Michael Jordan is the best and he's the best because of the scoring shit and I surpass it, I don't give a fuck what you're talking about no more. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're talking about no more. I don't. You're in. Don't forget, Shaq said he would say the same thing, bro. Visible, you know, statistics. He would have played all five years. Just saying. He would have, I don't give a f about none of that, right? <laughs> this, was the, this was what I was supposed to be. I did that. And then this is just, just in case you want to throw him in front of me, I'm going to top that shit too. There's, that argument is over. Oh, he, he, he did it in six years. I don't care. Oh, he only played, I don't give a f he played 82 games for nine. I don't give a shit. Right? <laughs> I, there's no, like, what? what oh, he wins one more chip. What the f does the chip have to do with the best player? In, in now, me personally, I kind of feel like one more chip shuts everybody up. There, there is no more after that. Please sit down after that. Yes, it's just five rings. I don't give a fuck. Don't care. But... To everyone saying that chip does matter, you gotta make me re like understand like why do we, you know, we don't we ignore Bill? Why do we ignore uh, other other players who have rings and don't deserve them? Why, uh, let me know. Talk to me. Individual versus team achievements. This is what <coughs> I would say. LeBron James is thirty years old, averaging thirty still. I don't, it's ridiculous. It, it's it's still ridiculous. A top ten player in the NBA. Look, listen, if you don't, if you don't want to put him as your oh, number shit. one Faded. for personal reasons, say it. Yeah. Say, yeah. hey, listen, I'm, I'm a Michael Jordan fan till I die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, timestamp that. that. And say, that's the only reason he can't be number one in my book. Mm -hmm. Because I am a fanatic Jordan fan. Like, in my top five, when people ask me my top five, I say, hey, this is my top five. Penny Hardaway is my favorite player of all times. He's in there. And then I just picked four of them. So I don't want you to say shit about my top five because I got Penny. That's my favorite player. My favorite player is going to be in there no matter what. Saints do that. But don't pretend and throw all these stats to try to make LeBron not the best player that ever played. Right? I understand the way Jordan did it. The way he did it was beautiful phenomenal I get it right it's like a it's like when it comes to cars it's like a one of one um what's that car jay-z got the excalibur Bro, that, I'm he got that yeah. excalibur like it's the um I'm, I'm not it's like a seven level. it's a seven yeah million right. dollar, i wouldn't know either um seven million dollar um seven god damn maybach one of one that's my box that's jordan one of one did it elegant Perfect. He was the he was the face of just elegance all the way around how he moved, how he did it. LeBron, he was a you know, we would say a Hummer truck. <laughs> right? And you, you you threw all this bulletproof un yeah. destructible shit on it. Yeah. And he's moved. Yeah. And you might not like the way he has done it, yeah. But he still surpassed. The things that you said he couldn't do, yeah. or he wouldn't do. Yeah. So if yeah. if you said he couldn't do any of this stuff and he did it, why are you still why are you still questioning it? Yeah, because you a hater that's, ass that's nigga. That's the thing I don't get. Like, I, that's like, all there is to it. It's cool. Age we live in, girl. Like, you know, it's just, it's just one of those. They got pills for that now. Is, what, what 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 else is there to do? Because you're not. It's not now. If this was the best player, 
right? He has. If Jordan had Kareem's scoring title, right? If Jordan had um, John Stockton assist record, if Which, Jordan had, you know, Bills Russell rings, I get it. But Jordan's not number one in, in any, any of, of those. Right? Don't play with but it, we bro. We do identify. Okay, this was the most. This was the most feared. This was the best player. Most dominant. Did, right. I mean, you guys that did six, it. Six, six, crazy. Media did it. Third, three years in the league, basically, he was coined the best player ever. Right. So you know. So from there, if he's not number one in any of the categories that you guys have as pinnacle, and he was the goat, then don't use those for someone else. That's fair. Thank you for coming to Gil's TED Talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I still haven't said which one I have won, but I'm just arguing. You, did you not say Penny was number one? No, 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 that's, my, no, that's the top five. That's my number one. But, that's my but this is the thing. You might tell me Penny. Mm. I might be, oh, Gil, you crazy. Why? Because I remember Penny coming up to Pauley Pavilion before he got drafted in the Mississippi State shorts, six, seven, doing what he was doing out there. And I think a lot of times, how people's career pans out, that's awesome. But mm. there's so much other shit that goes into it. Injuries, all those other mm -hmm. stuff. So when I've seen the guy I could have swore Penny was solid at 6 7. All the time. Steph Curry, greatest shooter in NBA history. My personal favorite shooter ever is Celine Stoudemire. Because mm -hmm. the shit I've seen him do mm -hmm. on the court mm -hmm. with my own two eyes. And this is no knock to Steph. Oh, could you say that about Steph? Whatever. Like, Celine. Anybody who was at Arizona <laughs> through those times, mm -hmm. it didn't translate to the NBA. But Celine's bucket getting prowess. Yeah, he was bucket I remember getting. when I was like a, a junior or senior, Ben Holland was a coach. He was shooting like 54 from three. <coughs> and obviously, our three point line was closer in than the NBA. But mm -hmm. he was shooting from NBA mm -hmm. level. And J.J. Redick was the dude at that time. And it was some absurd, like, J.J. would have had to make, like, 80 to 93s in a row to get to Celine's percentage. Mm. You know what wow. I mean? Wow. That's, that's neither here nor there. So when I see it, I'm the same point as you. It's like, whoever your goat is, that's your goat, right? Yeah, that's your goat. You like right. Jordan. You like Kobe. That's what I said off top. I want to ask you about Kareem. Kareem held that scoring record. Kareem was a beast. I mean, 38 years, right? Overall basketball resume, I don't think anybody's resume compares to Kareem other than potentially Bill Russell just with the 11 wins. But... Three Crazy. Guys. What he did in high school, Kareem killed. Didn't get cut from his his, his, his college or varsity team as a sophomore. Mm -hmm. Killed in like high school. Me. Three rings at UCLA. Would have won four, but freshman couldn't play. Crazy. Six rings in the league. Two finals MVPs. Six MVPs. Scoring record. Almost whooped Bruce Lee. Almost whooped Bruce Lee's ass in Game of Death. <laughs> Probably one of my. I got to put that up there. Yeah. And almost got him. If not for some janky editing, and screenwriting. Yeah. <laughs> scripts now in the NFL, NBA. There was a script in that, but that's hilarious. Why doesn't Kareem get the love that he deserves? And even seeing him at that game, like I'm a UCLA guy, so mm. I feel like Kareem had a bad reputation for two reasons. When he became Muslim, mm -hmm. burned his house down, all types of other shit, always a man of peace and tranquility. And he has a bad reputation because I remember we interviewed John Wooden before he passed away. And something that always stuck with me, John Wooden told the story about how Kareem, when he would go to places, they went to one place in particular, he walked in. A, a restaurant or some white waitress looks at him and says, look at that big black N-word. You know what I mean? And this is what was going. So he was always super surly with people he didn't rock with. Mm -hmm. and how's the weather up there? All those dumbass jokes mm -hmm. that you get as a tall person, kind of treated like a freak show. But when I see Kareem, it's all love. When people who know him, sure, when you see Kareem, it's a dap up mm -hmm. and whatever, mm -hmm. keep it moving. But I feel like that's impacted his, his place amongst basketball's great. So why I also want to bring in, in the... I don't know what I thought I was say earlier in the middle of his career, where he had a fight against Wilt. You feel me? Like, like he said during that time, you had racism, you had the, that bigotry, and it didn't help seeing those two big going back and forth like that. And, and people did choose sides, and they did have preferences, which is why do you feel like Kareem doesn't get weird. the love that he deserves in the goat debate? So. You got to remember, back then, it was a big man's also, game. Also, basketball See, is, is why a big man's is game. powerful, and sometimes the media got to acknowledge it because you've done it in the past. Right? You've done it in the past. When Michael Jordan was picked, right, what was the knock? You can't win the championship with a guard. Right? That was, that was the stigma. You cannot win a championship with a guard. At that time... Before Jordan decided to be Jordan, who was the best player in the league? Who was, who was the GOAT? Kareem. Right? So what ends up happening is 
a guard wins the championship. Oh shit. And MVP. Oh, this man wins the championship. He, and DPOY. This is a guard driven team and they win without a big man and then two people. Then three people. Right? They're right that those three championships right there. I'm pretty sure after the second one overtook Kareem. Kareem has been out of the, the, the that debate yeah. when Michael Jordan won. I mean, he might be right. Second, Fuck. Michael Jordan probably had what? 10, 12,000 points at the time. And he already, in the media's mind, surpassed him as the best player in the NBA. The, the knock with Kareem will always be point. It's like, I want however tall or short you are, go try to shoot a hook shot from 17 feet. Yeah. And make that consistent. Yeah. yeah. Probably the most yeah. unstoppable shot in the history of basketball. Yeah, I mean, you know, like I heard, you know, you know, my guy JJ Reddick, you know, when he said, you know, other than the sky hook, what other attributes did he have? Yeah, makes sense. Um, but that this I know there's someone out there who can comment down beneath this video. Is he wrong? Yo, timestamp this and talk to me. Is he wrong? Is Kareem's only attribute his height and his hook shot? Mm. The argument with majority of the players back then, like this wasn't y'all did this, right? Y'all did it. The players today are doing it, like they have nothing else to do but train, study, and play. Yeah, they don't have the fundamentals that were important then. They have the skill. He speaks with so much intensity. So, you know, you know um, you can see it. and the guys who are elite. They have he has no reason to lie. That's really what it is. Right. So, you know, when you look at just the just the history of how the game's been played and, you know, like I used to question, like, why isn't the big O? Why wasn't he considered the Michael Jordan? How where did I Michael think he Jordan influenced go? Michael, you know, too. So. When you look at it, he's no. doing it. That's Dr. Actually J. Actually, a little bit better. Oscar 30, Robertson. 11 and 10. Like, I'm 32, 11 and 10. You know, Jordan's, you know, 33, 30. So how, like, what happened here? I wasn't born yet, so I don't, you know, what happened here for him, for Jordan to already surpass these these people? I'm going to say he had better shoes. MJ's kicks. You know, I, you know, I just. But I'm just saying. Yeah. But like was it the shoes? They're, they're Jays. The natural was it the shoes? Was it the marketing? So that has impacted people's minds. Was it the, the brainwashing? No, Jordan. Jordan's an amazing player. LeBron's my goat. I, I won't argue with Jordan for this. That's your goat. I support That's your you. goat? I support you. Like, but but, but it, as an as a, as a NBA, the face of the NBA, LeBron has to be him. No. The reason is this, the man's never had a ticket. He's never had a speeding ticket. He's never <laughs> like there's wow. no you didn't even think about there's it. There's no mark on his legacy at all. So when you're talking about perfection, when you're talking about perfection, legacy, built a school, has own like Nike compound, whatever the shit. Sure. Like, talk to like, me, you know talk to mean? me. No, no, no nothing still. Talk to me. Same girl from 20 years like they got their own little dab that they mm -hmm. like, so when you even though sometimes about, savannah don't want to do it from the optics right mm. he's a number one score mm. right with top five and that, 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 that's that's this, crazy this like at six eight you know, six nine score, that's crazy stop this is what happens because i don't think they understand when it come out of my, when you say yeah he's not a better scorer than jordan But he's first. <laughs> like I, I, I understand what you're saying, but I don't think you understand what you're saying. If Jordan was a scorer first, and LeBron is a passer first, and the passer first has more points than the scorer first, shh, just let it go because that, you know what I mean? It's like I don't think they understand the concept of what they're saying. That Le, Le, LeBron is not a natural scorer. That's what makes it worse. Yeah. The non, the non-scoring, you know, mind is leading the most selfish stats. <laughs> make it make sense. Make it make sense. Greatness. That's what we're witnessing. I use shit like, Remember? You know, out of the, the 15 years he played, you know, nine Crazy. years, all 82 games, 
another year 80 and then 281 then my man was my man was sturdy like you know i would start using random shit like that i'm not using that yeah my my my, my guy is the best scorer that ever lived he was just a natural score like no one's ever called lebron the ball home, right if the, the goal is to put the ball in the basket i don't care how easy or difficult you may be look when you put the ball in the basket and here's another argument i do i heard someone say about, you know legacy 80s basketball right it was tougher shut up it was Let gritty it 80s cannot compete with 90s to thousands and now it is a pointless argument i only want to say this bro larry bird serve michael up all right I'm sure if Magic had a few more cracks at it, he would have figured out the code, too. I think 80s basketball deserves more respect, to be honest, than it gets. Bill and Beer cannot play basketball today, right? And then he shoots me back with that. I mean, all right, valid, valid, valid. Does not work today. The things that you guys are glorifying, which is hard fouls. Not better defense. Yeah. Hard fouls. If you look at the people who were brutally hurting people, they were not all defensive players. A defensive player is playing within the rules, stopping you. Yeah. Like, like, on the offensive end. Like, if we can play offense how they play defense. Just give me the ball, let me run with it and go score. It's illegal. It's illegal, but if I can do that, I can say I'm the best scorer in the league. You're just clotheslining players. You're just hurting players. And that's how it was. The less talented, up the talent. That's it. The talent, like, that's an interesting way to put it. Your Dennis Rodman mindsets today. And I mean Dennis Rodman mindsets, not on the court, off the court. You're not going to find players sitting there, leaving the gym, no shower, going to the club, clubbing all night, and got a game tomorrow. You're not doing that today. With no shower, right? Oh. You're not doing no, that. No, they definitely shower. But you're not invading. I get what he mean. I all get what he mean. Gambling and then flying in that that morning to play a basketball game. You're those these <coughs> players today are. We don't know who doing. who would these do that. These players today are sitting in the gym. They will mollywop your asses, you '80s, for real. Y'all acting like y'all was in the gym six, seven hours a day. And they weren't. You weren't. Stop the bullshit. Stop acting like your guys were this glorified and you're sitting here learning game plays, learning habits, and then you guys were happy. You might alcoholics. Today, you guys are all yellow eyed. Looking like <laughs> aliens out there. What's that, the liver or the kidney? You just, like, no, I'm serious. Liver. No, but th this is the Damn. thing you talk about, Will. And, and we know Will more for the off the court stuff than average of 50. But when he was playing with the Sixers, he had like a nightclub in New York, Harlem, Brooke, or somewhere. I'm just oh, damn. telling me. And he was I didn't know that. Turning up every single night. Damn. So things are different for this day. But Wilt was different. Resources Hold on. Quick pause, my guy. Wilt was a completely different freak. Can we talk about it one day? Like, hey, you and me, you know what I'm saying? Bro, Wilt was a freak. Analogy. It's just more advanced. Obviously, nitro shoes. Honestly, I feel like people are lucky so we don't have his film. For what it is. Yeah, take it for what it is and leave your little goofy asses in your era. If LeBron was in our era, you know, we would stop him. LeBron's like 260. Bro, first of all, you smell like gin. All right? He's running right through you. I mean, come on. When I came into the NBA, when Dude. I... 2001, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cocaine, boom, out of the socks. Boom, boom, <laughs> out, cocaine patch fall right out of the socks. Now, you got to think, let us think about this. <laughs> Who, think about how high or dumb you have to be to play in an NBA game with it in your sock. Not in your locker, not in your bag, in your sock, in the game. On the bench, on the bench, the 14th and 15th player, Gatorade bottle, two Bud Lights, fill it up, drink it by the fourth quarter, sound like fans. Right? Like, and you telling me that you guys 
in the eighties, bro. Think y'all are gonna guard players today? And the whole ideal is we fouled you. And you got to think about when we're talking about hacking. I think um, Isaiah Thomas said this. He said, and he's right. The bad boys fouled Michael Jordan. Yeah. I didn't foul Michael Jordan like that. Yeah. Joe Dumars didn't foul Michael Jordan like that. No, the players who actually played defense mm. did not. The average, like mm. when you're talking about the Gary Paytons, when you're talking about Preach. the Scottie Pippers, the Michael Jordans, um, those guys who were defensive players, they, they, the reason they were great at defense is because they were playing within the rules of the game. The players who just hack the shit mm. out of you. <laughs> those guys are not considered defensive players. Mm. They're just hackers, mm. right? So you're telling me mm. that, you know, you're just going to hack me and I'm going to shoot free throws? Like, how does it, like, uh, yeah. it didn't work in the 80s. Yeah. Like, is it going to work against us? Like, no, you're just, right. It's just the, the concept is just so stupid. I appreciate you for saying this. Yeah. It's just, it's just, it is. So I, I never really sat back and thought about it. I, they, 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 they probably, they're going to, when they probably respond, they're going to be drunk anyway. <laughs> drunk. Hey, just, G. Just drunks. Hey, G. A was, came, he came out. He ain't waste not one bullet, bro. He didn't waste not one bullet. Good shit. Hey, no chill. Who you? Who you? Who you? Fubu Sports. That was good, bro. That was good. Give me another one of those. I'm going to hit that button, boy. Give me another one of those. I'm going to hit that button, boy. That was good.